Hey folks, so in this video I'm just going to quickly cover uh, expired domain filters. So we get a few questions from users asking us which filters should they use just to see expired domains that are still available. Okay, so what happens is when a doma domain goes through the pending delete process, uh, at the end of the pending delete um, cycle a domain expires if a domain fully expires then it will become available for anyone to register register if it hasn't been picked up during the drop um, you know at the time that the domain expires then it's it's available anyone can go to any registrar in the world and well, that supports the TLD and they can register that domain okay so what I usually do is I will set the domain source here to expired domain. So just uncheck all the all the other domain sources. Okay. Uh, I will. I generally just want to see uh, domains that have been processed by the Spamzilla spam checking algorithm and that have have had a clean or positive result. So I will set the SZ score minimum filter to zero. So this will show me any domains that are, um, you know, clean that have been through and processed by Spamzilla. Uh, and then I set the minimum referring domain domains count um, for Ahrefs to 10. Um, you can set this in the IPs as well if you'd like to. It's totally up to you. Uh, and that's that's essentially it I will tweak these filters from time to time um, depending on if I want to just see domains that have an in uh, that are still in the Google index uh, if I only want to see you know new domains that are added each 24 hours then I will click on this filter here okay um, and sometimes I only want to see expired domains uh, added in the last 24 hours that meet a certain referring amount of referring domains and in a specific category or a specific language. Um, so I will, if, if I'm running a campaign, I will, uh, you know, set these filters up. Uh, then I will go to save the filter. I will give the filter a name and then I will add it to um, email me each day by checking this tick box. So then each day in my inbox, um, in, my, uh, in my email inbox, I'll be receiving you know, new domains that, that match this filter um, that I can quickly come back into Spamzilla and have a quick look at. Okay, so I hope this helped and uh, I, hope, I hope these filters uh, make sense to everyone. Uh, if you have any questions, just feel free to send us through a support ticket and we'll be glad to help you out. Thank you.